Gemini, you are up for the March Money Energy Reading. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. All right. So, obviously, this is the money reading. The general reading and the love readings for March are already up. Also, I have collective readings up as well. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading the energy and the tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Now, I'm doing something different for the money readings this time. I'm keeping it a lot more simple. So, I'm pulling one card from my Oracle deck. This is the love, not love, this is the money and law of attraction um, deck, and then I will pull a regular tarot card to clarify the oracle card that I pulled. So let's go ahead and get into this. May I have the energy for Gemini for March? May I have the energy for Gemini for March? May I have the energy for Gemini for March? What is it? That Gemini needs to hear. What is it that Gemini needs to hear? What is it that Gemini needs to hear? May I have a card, please? Two cards came out again. This has been the thing lately. All right. So... First card is I can deliberately choose to feel better now. I can deliberately choose to feel better now. And I feel like there's a pity party going on here. We're going to see in a second. The other card says shortages of time or money are perceptional. Shortages of time or money are perceptional. And on the back it says... If you are feeling a shortage of time or money, your best effort would be to focus upon better feeling thoughts and do more things to make you feel good. Your time is a perceptional thing. And even though the clock is ticking, the same for everyone, your alignment affects your perception as well as the results you allow. As you observe the enormous difficulty The enormous differences in the effort that people apply and the results they achieve. You have to conclude that there is more to the expiration, or I should say expectation, of achieving than action alone. So in other words, it isn't just about action. I heard it's about strategy is what it is. So for some of you, if there's a shortage of time or money, then it's saying revisit and think of a new strategy. You need a strategy is what you need. Going back to the first card, I can deliberately choose to feel better now. I feel some of you are throwing a pity party. Like um, I've given this quote many, many times because I just love the song by Reba McIntyre, I'm a Survivor. And um, in the song, she says, I don't believe in self-pity. It only brings you down. Maybe the queen of broken hearts, but I don't hide behind the crown. When the deck is stacked against me, I just play a different game. That's what it's time for you to do. It's time for you to play a different game. Because I feel like for some of you, something may not be going right, and you may have tried it so many times, and it's like, really? And now you just feel like no matter how much you give, it it isn't enough. And what this is saying, the energy is saying with the cars is that, okay, well, if this way isn't working, don't give up altogether. Just come up with with a new strategy, with a different strategy, because you want to keep the persistence. Persistence is the one thing. Look up, if you ever get a chance, there's a quote by Calvin Coolidge. Look up Calvin Coolidge's quote on persistence. It's an amazing quote. But persistence is the one thing. Your your issue is you just need another strategy. That's it. 
for whatever you're dealing with. I don't know because it's your story. You know better than me. But this is a strategy issue and a, I don't want to say lack of confidence. It's more like a setback issue where it is processing, okay, what next type of thing. But the what next is a new strategy. It's, it's, you're playing a different game now. F figure out a different game to play and then win at it that way. By still accomplishing the same goal you were originally looking to accomplish. All right, let me clarify these right quick. May I have a card to clarify the money energy on the table? May I have a card to clarify the money energy on the table? May I have a card to clarify the money energy on the table? What is it? Oh, look at that at the bottom of the deck. I just caught that. Six of Wands. That's a victory. What is it that Gemini needs to hear? What is it that Gemini needs to hear? What is it? Yeah, two of coins. Now at the bottom of the deck. Now that I split it. Making a decision. Also can be juggling. What is it that Gemini needs to hear? Can we clarify the money energy on the table? Something said to me, you're do some of you are doing something you don't want to do. Maybe you're unhappy with the type of job you're working and you want something different and you've been trying to get another job but it just hasn't been panning out. But you need a different strategy for those that is resonating with. Okay, thank you. I was wondering. I was like, okay, car hasn't fallen out. That's why. Yeah, pity party. What's at the bottom of the deck? And then we have the three. So we have two threes here. This is... What's the word? Not under construction. This is a major project for some of you. Some of you are working on a major project, but it just hasn't come together. And you're disappointed about that. For others of you, you are the major project now, It is what this is. The reason I'm saying that is because you have the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, which can be recognition for talents. It can also be contracts. It can be working with others. And then you have the three of swords, which is the card that came out, which is about extreme heartache. Again, I feel like some of you have been throwing a pity party. Now, this could be related to where something didn't work out with a group of people. Or maybe a group of people did not recognize you for your talents with the three of pentacles. But whatever this is, you have two threes. 33 is a master number. So that's why I'm saying I feel like this is a major project. And that may have been something you were working on with people or whatever. Something just wasn't coming together. Or you are now the major project where it's time to audit, reassess, and rebuild. And what I mean by reassess and rebuild is come up with a new strategy. That, that's what this is. You don't want to stay in this energy. You want to stay in this energy. This is the energy that you want to be in. And I kid you not, this card was, already, it was turned up. Do you see how all of these cards are facing down? This card was just in the Taurus reading, but somehow it got back in the deck facing up instead of facing down like the other cards. I don't believe in any... Um, Accidents or mistakes in tarot. This was facing up for a reason. So you have the three of pentacles here. And then you have the sun here. So this is earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. And then you have the sun, which is Leo energy. So some of you could be dealing with those signs or have them in your chart. But I feel that this is the energy that you will be in if you put your focus on this, like owning your craft, upping your skills, making yourself, something said, it's something to the effect of making yourself more visible. If you make yourself more visible, that will bring in the opportunity to bring in more happiness is what will happen. And also it will bring in the opportunity for you to work with other people because they can see what your work is too. So, yeah, but this three of swords energy right here, 
this ain't it. We, we don't want to be in this. All right. So, Gemini, that is your message. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Until next time, Gemini, be blessed.